If you've seen the new documentary, I Am Celine Dion, then you've also seen her shocking on-screen seizure. The iconic singer gets super vulnerable in the film and it's hard to watch her struggle with stiff person syndrome. The director of the film shared that Celine insisted on keeping the heartbreaking and scary footage of her experiencing a seizure in the documentary. The film I Am Celine Dion is described as a love letter to her fans and chronicles her remarkable career while offering an intimate look at her nearly 17 year battle with stiff person syndrome or SPS, which is a rare neurological disorder. SPS affects about one or two people per million, starting with muscle spasms, progressing to severe body seizures and torso rigidity. Dion disclosed her condition on social media in 2022, after it forced her to reschedule and eventually cancel her world tour. It has major effects on her voice, so this is why. And since then, she largely remained out of the public eye. Towards the end of the documentary, there's a scene showing Dion returning from a studio after recording the title track for the film Love Again and experiencing a seizure. Now, the documentary also shows many of Celine's most iconic moments, from her multitude of performances to her stunning fashion looks. Let's take a look at Celine Dion's transformation over the years. Canadian pride Celine Dion continues to captivate multiple generations, including younger fans with her powerful voice. From a young age, Dion overcame numerous obstacles and tragedies to produce beautiful music. The most constant aspect of her career has been her voice, capable of moving listeners to tears. Celine was born on March 30th, 1968 in Quebec, Canada and grew up in the village of Charlemagne with her parents and 13 siblings. Yes, you heard that right, she was one of 14 kids. From an early age, Dion showed a natural talent for music, using the dining room table as a stage by age two and performing at her brother's wedding at five. Her family lived modestly with her father working as a butcher to support the family on a limited income. Dion's passion for music grew as she experienced the love and warmth of audiences. And her mother, noticing her dedication to music, allowed Celine to focus on her dream of becoming a singer. While Celine is best known for her talent and successful music career, she's also a fashion icon and knows the power of a great three-piece suit. Her memorable looks include her first epic fashion moment, a wedding gown that would have even left Princess Diana and her 25-foot train in awe. Dion's always embraced a more is more and more is better motto in her personal style, willing to wear a headpiece, flip a suit jacket inside out, or go pants free, all in the name of fashion. In her new doc, she also shows some of her most favorite looks from throughout her career. Some of the most memorable include Celine's white backwards tuxedo at the 1999 Oscars, which was a daring choice, challenging traditional red carpet norms. Paired with a white fedora and sunglasses, this look remains one of the most talked about ensembles in Oscar history. Then there was Celine's sheer blinged out gown at the 2003 Grammy Awards. Later on in 2016, Celine attended the Billboard Music Awards in an unforgettable striking metallic gold gown by Valentino and a year later at Paris Couture Week, there was her dramatic oversized ruffle gown. Also in 2017, we can't forget Celine's first Met Gala, where she wore a custom Versace gown that combined a leather bodice with a high slit draped skirt and bold headpiece. These are just some of Celine's many, many fashion moments. Every time she went to the Grammys, she also turned heads. Some of my favorite looks were at the 1993 and 1999 Grammys. Aside from her style, when it comes to other changes Celine has shown in her looks, it doesn't seem like she's a celebrity that's gone under the knife too much. A few years ago, there were some tabloids accusing her of getting bad work done, but Celine's remained looking mostly the same over the years. Early on in her career, Celine may have had a rhinoplasty, but that was never confirmed. After Celine Dion stepped back from the spotlight due to her struggles with stiff person syndrome, her revealing documentary appears to be the start of her comeback. Even a recent interview with Vogue France had Celine sharing her grand return. In 2021, Dion had to cancel her highly anticipated Las Vegas concert residency. Then, in December of the following year, she shared in a social media video that she received her diagnosis of SPS. Dion explained that the condition had caused spasms that impact every aspect of my daily life, she said, occasionally making it difficult to walk and affecting her ability to sing like she normally would. 
Reflecting on her experience, she mentioned that she first noticed vocal spasming 17 years ago, which initially startled her and made her anxious when her voice didn't behave as expected. In the documentary, Dion candidly describes the severity of her pain, revealing, there came a point where I couldn't walk anymore. I haven't defeated the illness, it's still within me and will be forever. Hopefully we'll find a miracle, a way to heal through scientific research, but I have to learn to live with it. Celine follows athletic, physical, and vocal therapy five times a week. Celine added, I know that nothing will stop me. Celine Dion's decision to include footage of her frightening seizure in the documentary I Am Celine Dion shows her courage and determination to share her journey with the world. This vulnerable moment shows not only the physical challenges she faces, but also her resilience in confronting them head on. By revealing such intimate aspects of her life, Dion demonstrates her authenticity City and comes out not just as a musical icon but as a symbol of strength. That'll wrap up this video, but if you haven't seen the documentary, you should go watch it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kara, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!